The question is that the question we put. After much anticipation, the Treasurer presented the 2019 supplementary budget bill today in Parliament. While admitting cuts to sectors, Treasurer Staki pointed out that the budget is to repair the threshold created by the previous government. He says the budget is within the Fiscal Responsibility Act and a step closer to IMF standings. This starts the very tough process of bringing the budget under control and avoids the country having to incur its largest ever deficit and limits the impact on domestic and international confidence on the budget. These cuts will be shared equitably across the budget. According to the Treasurer, there is little room for the government to make things right and rebuild the economy. He says the 45% increase in the gross domestic per capita is legitimate to cushion the 3.5 billion kina deficit. The Treasurer says the cuts are not cuts but a rediversion of funding to appropriate sectors for growth. It will not take months, it will take years of hard work. So tough decisions is a must now to take a major step towards living within our means. Mr. Speaker, these steps alone won't solve our economic problems but demonstrate stronger budget management, we can better direct funding to help the people of Papua New Guinea. The supplementary budget was opposed by the five-man opposition team. Spokesperson and Kendrian Gloucester MP Joseph Lelang says the government must stop loans and control debt. Lelang says the large budget deficit gives no hope for the people when service delivery is stalled by cuts in DSIP and PSIP. By limiting the budget deficit, we will be creating an enabling environment to support our private sector investments. We in the opposition call on the government to minimize budget deficits, control public debt and improve debt transparency, particularly on state-owned enterprises, borrowings. We strongly urge the Marape Stephen government to establish whether the state-owned enterprises has the balance sheets and capacity to repay the loans they are taking, including scrutiny on those loans, its terms, conditions and structure. However, Deputy Prime Minister David Stephen urged the opposition not to make misleading statements on the budget. He described the supplementary budget as realistic and called on the House to work together and find a way out of the debt hanging over the country's development agendas. We've inserted the protection that we need to insert in that legislation so that our borrowing is responsible. We will borrow, but by operation of law, we will go back. We will revert to the original 35% benchmark inserted in that law. We know, we know the, the, the reason, the policy rationale for the, for the fiscal responsibility set, Mr. Speaker. Jack Lopalva, Jr., National MTV News.